Uh, my name's Dave Wallace. Um, I'm a senior lecturer here on the BA course for um, primary education. And I studied that course, this very same course at, um, at BGU. I had a number of roles. I spent um, a good number of years in the Air Force. If we had new people that would come in, then I would generally be the one who was tasked to support them, to, to help nurture them and to, to bring them on. So I left the Air Force and went into um, driving instructing. So I knew I wanted some kind of role within, within teaching. I have other family members who are teachers who also trained here. And I went and I did some, um, had some experience within within primary school, so I used some of my own time, some of my own holidays, and found that I loved it. I found that I loved the, being around the children, loved working with, um, with other adults who had children at the heart of what they wanted to do. I'm kind of Lincoln born and bred, so I know and knew about um, BGU. Other members of my family had trained here. I knew the environment, I knew the nurturing environment that, that I knew I would get from. Um, from BG. I came here as a mature student and I was just constantly reassured that it, I wouldn't necessarily be the odd one out being kind of mid-30s and coming onto a training course where people were kind of straight out of A-levels. We get three years worth of academic studies into the course as well as getting that recommendation for Qualified Teacher Status or QTS. What it did for me was gave me a, a change of lifestyle, gave me a change of direction and something purposeful. It was then something that I wanted to do. We have a great reputation for students with us that go on and gain the QTS qualification once they finish studying with us. So QTS is Qualified Teacher Status. Um, and to be able to teach in, uh, in maintained schools in England and Wales, then you need to have QTS. So they're the state funded schools. There are other schools who will take you on without qualified teacher status. But again, even for those schools, so the private schools, that kind of sector, it's still desirable for you to have QTS. They would still want it. I have many, many fond memories from my three years here. Um, I've met some fantastic people, some wonderful people, many of whom I'm still friends with now, many years on from doing my degree here. I've had to pin it down to one, myself and two other of my um, student colleagues put together a um, just a very short, very brief performance, performance poetry, some singing um, and some acting to do with the Romans coming to, um, coming to Britain. And it was a real collaborative effort. We worked really, really hard on it and, and subsequently got some really good marks from it. One of the core aspects of what makes BG so good at what it does is the support and the access that you have as a student here. So access to a fantastic library, access to um, experts, not just in the primary teaching field, but in the secondary teaching field and across the other disciplines that we have at, um, at BGU. Access to placements, so actually going out and doing your teaching getting that teaching experience but really it's about the support that you get at BG. Support from a personal tutor, support from placement mentors, even if somebody's not your personal tutor you can go and talk to them as well as your personal tutor so the support mechanism that you get at BG is I think is second to none. a real excellence in teaching, a history here, 160 years worth of teaching excellence and producing excellent teachers. And it's what students say when they come here. We've had them for three years and we talked to them at the end. They will always say it's about the support that they've received. There's always someone that they can turn to. Possibly in bigger institutions where you've got more students, you've less chance to support them from an individual tutor's point of view. I've got three years worth of personal duties. I know them all, I know their strengths, their weaknesses, I know where they are academically, and then I can hopefully support them with that. My analogy to this is if you were building a house, you wouldn't start building on the second floor. You would always start with the foundations, and primary teaching for me is the foundation of any child's learning. Part of that initial learning journey for these children is really, really important. Mm -hmm.